Hey, this is Clayton Bishop with High Tech Instruments, ICE Business Partner. And today we're going to go through setting up LabScope and some of the basics. Okay. Let me share LabScope. One of the most important things is you got to plug in the camera from the microscope into your computer. It's usually via USB. Once you've got that plugged in, this is your opening screen for LabScope. You see here we have our live image. Flash my hand under it. Cool. So if it's your first time, you might want to set up that microscope. You can choose if it's a compound or a stereo. In this case, I have a STEMI 508. Give it a name. Then you want to tell it what magnification's on there. This is important if you're going to be doing scaling or measurements. So I just go through my zoom dial. I pick what is important to me. What is listed on that dial, that black dial on the right hand side. So it's all these magnifications. 3.2 or and five check your c-mount it should be listed on the c-mount that is the piece of metal connecting the camera to the microscope and choose what va that value is i see that mine's 0.5x i hit apply that's a one-time thing so now that that's set up we can click on this and we will have our live image so it's down and scroll back out and Get your sample in focus. Ooh. So what you want to do is choose the right magnification in here. Right now I'm set at 0.63. And then you can snap a picture right there on the right hand side of the screen. Or you can press the space bar. That's a hotkey for it. In here, you can edit what you're doing. So the camera settings, auto exposure or manual. You switch it to manual, choose the rate at which the camera refreshes, make it darker, brighter. You can turn down the gain, change the relative intensity in auto exposure. Also set a white balance. That is make the image appear blue, red, colder, or warmer, or just have it in the middle to be auto. Cool. In advanced, you can change the way that the image appears to you digitally. So if the camera is mounted a certain way and it's screwing you up, you can change the digital orientation. There. So again, snap a picture. There you go. We'll talk about some more advanced features in the next video.